So right now I'm, I'm making some raw gourmet uh, cacao ice cream or chocolate ice cream. So it's all organic. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just, I took some, um, I blended it up. I blended the mix in the blender. I put in ice cube trays. I froze it and now, now I'm feeding the ice cubes through the, the green star leaf juicer with the blank. So it's coming out like soft ice cream. Now as far as the recipe, I put, I put, um, let's see, I put, I put four cups of almond coconut yogurt in the blender. I put 20 dates, they, they were barhi dates or medjool dates, I put 20 of those in there. I put, I put a teaspoon of natural vanilla powder. I put four heaping tablespoons of life essentials. I put a teaspoon of cinnamon. I put a quarter of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. I put four heaping tablespoons of organic cold pressed coconut oil to give it that creaminess. And I put one ripe banana. I put enough coconut water to blend up into a, a nice thick creamy substance. The whole blender was full. And, and then I poured it into ice cube trays. I froze it. And now I'm running it through the Green Star Elite Juicer. And it's turning into soft ice cream. So we'll see how you respond to it once you take it in. But if you're going to have an ice cream, this would be a better way to go because that way you're not doing dairy, nothing's cooked, it's all organic. And it, and it, it actually tastes uh, quite, I mean, so far all the children uh, and all people have always liked it. So the thing is though, if you don't want to make the chocolate ice cream, you can make a strawberry one or blueberry one. The, the base is still the same, but just change the, the flavor. So the flavor could be any berry that you want um, I, or you could do pineapple, like, like a pina colada ice cream. Very, very good. Um, not too long ago, I got some, uh, I ordered a, a five pound bag of pistachios, raw organic, organic pistachios. I soaked them overnight. I blended up in, uh, blended it into a cream. I made yogurt out of it. And then I, and then I put it, and then I blended it up in the blender uh, because spinach is kind of neutral to make it kind of a little green-like. Because when, when I was a kid, pistachio ice cream was one of my favorite ice creams next to vanilla ice cream. So I made um, pistachio ice cream with that. And I, and I just, all I did was I put coconut and pistachio yo uh, yogurt in the blender. And, and I did it stronger on the pistachio side, more than coconut meat. Because I wanted to get some pistachio flavor, right? And I didn't over it. I just slightly culturized it. So I had that real strong pistachio flavor because I love pistachios. And, um, and then I, I put the Himalayan salt, some natural vanilla, a little bit of spinach to give it that green look, not too much or anything. And then I, I put the dates in there, life essentials in there, and it came out um, like pistachio ice cream, the kind you buy in the store, non-dairy. And everybody that ate it, they went, whoa, they were like really, really like impressed with it. They loved it. Would you give, get a teaspoon and test this and see how? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so delicious. Yeah? But this is, this is more delicious than so delicious. This is like Lou delicious. Yeah. Lou delicious. Wow. I know. <laughs> Lou delicious. Be known. I, I came up with that just now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I, guess yeah. I get some yeah. credits. That's great, Lou. You guys are going to love this. Really.